This is the third time that we've reported on a lightning strike like that in the last few weeks. On June 25th, lightning struck a boat in Clearwater. The Coast Guard had to rescue seven people because their boat stopped working. And then last Thursday, an 11 year old boy was struck while on a boat in Riverview. It knocked him into the water. Nearby boaters and his dad pulled him ashore. He's recovering at home tonight. Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins joins us now. And Bobby, this is a time of the year when we just see a lot of thunderstorms. 100%. And if you look at the data from the National Lightning Safety Council, look at the month of July. That's when we tend to see the most fatalities. Obviously, we're warmer. We have more afternoon showers and thunderstorms, right? But you also have kids out of school. You have people on vacation. You have a lot of folks out and about and so you put those two together and that's when you end up with a problem. Now the folks that were struck well the lightning that struck the truck that is they were from Indiana they're back home now they're fortunate because the metal frame around that car is what actually takes that charge and disperses it back down to the ground so they stay safe. Now it's a little bit of a myth that the rubber tires protect you. No if the tires are wet the energy can go right across it to the ground and it can also arc just from the bottom of the frame down to the ground as well too. But uh, obviously fry that electrical system in the car. Thank goodness. It's kind of what we call a Faraday's cage. He kind of came up with the idea of being able to the, not the idea, but the idea that that's how it works, that that electricity goes around the metal and down to the ground, protecting you if you're underneath of that.